23 this morning we have a special treat for you she's performed in some of the most prestigious venues around the world joining us this morning grammy nominated artist and america's violinist jenny oaks baker jenny thank you so much for getting up early and and joining us this morning we appreciate Good having to be you here thank you now uh, you're getting set to reveal the your world premiere of your latest album yes. redeemer you're going to be performing tonight so let's take a look at those details so let's get everybody know uh, where they're going. So you're going to be there t at the BYU-Idaho Center tonight at 7.30 p.m. Tickets available at BYU.edu. BYU now, I'm always curious about the, the creative process. How do you go about putting together an album? Where does your inspiration draw from? Can, what's that process like for you? Well, it, this one was pure inspiration. Uh, Kurt Bester, I've been working with for over 25 years, and he we were talking about our next album and he said why don't we do an album all about the savior and I was like what a beautiful idea I've done a lot of sacred music but I've never dedicated an entire album to Jesus Christ and his life and redeeming mission and the songs we we chose and I just felt so guided by the spirit and and then Kurt's writing is just so powerful so sacred so spiritual so emotional and so impactful but I think it's my best album I think it's my most important album. I just feel so grateful to have been able to create it, be a part of it, and now share it. So it, it releases today, and we do the world premiere today, so it's a big day. I hope everyone will, will either go to my website to get a hard copy or Amazon or DeseretBook.com or stream it on Spotify or Apple Music, and then come to the show tonight because we've got a full orchestra, full choir. Mm -hmm. Um, we've got Bible video footage that will introduce each number, and you know how spectacular and powerful that footage is. And mm -hmm. it's just going to be a phenomenal show. I just can't wait. So it sounds like it's going to be quite the experience, just you know, coming with the full, the live. Yeah, version. It's, I just hope I can keep myself emotionally together because the music is just so touching. Now, how does that compare? I mean, for, for your other albums, is your process similar or? Yeah, how does each album come together? Well, I'm not a composer, so oh. my job is to just come up with a, a concept and maybe some ch song choices, and then I turn it over to Kurt Bester, who is just such a masterful composer. Mm -hmm. I feel like I'm working with Mozart. Like, I feel so blessed to be able to collaborate with him. And then he just is completely inspired with the music, and he's been writing for me. He's written over probably 150 arrangements for me by now and really knows how to play or write to the way I play and my style and um, and then he just sends me the music and usually only a couple weeks later we record it <laughs> <laughs> and then I and then I get to kind of share it with the world and it's just such a privilege well then music is a family affair with you because you, <laughs> you have a family band no I know I grew up yeah. with I grew up with five boys and there was competition for everything I suppose like who gets a seat in the front seat and stuff like that yeah what, what was it like forming the band was there some competition on who got to play what or how did well that my kids about? started their instruments when they were three and four years old and I on purpose started them on different instruments I didn't want them to compete with each other but I really never thought about a family band and I, but I know that God did, and I know that He inspired me and my husband with, with what instruments to have our kids start. But I really never considered performing with them. I just thought it would be good for them to start these instruments, for their own just development. And um, and then I just started putting them on, like one song on a program here, just because it was cute and, and it was a good experience <laughs> for them. And then all of a sudden they were playing half my shows, and now they're playing almost all my shows. So my daughter, Sarah, is the cello soloist tonight, and my oldest daughter, Lara, will be in the orchestra. Um, Hannah, our pianist, is going to music school in London, so she's not here. And then our guitarist, he could, he, there's no guitar part in this orchestra, so he's he home. He gets a night off, huh? He gets a night off, <laughs> but um, it, it's a privilege to be able to perform with my family. Excellent. All right, we're going to be hearing uh, a new song from the new album coming up a little bit later on in the show, so stick around for that. Uh, Jenny, it was a pleasure to talk to you. We look forward to uh, hearing your music. Thank you. Coming up. All right, stick around.